Recently, I did a video review about the Adidas Switch Forward and straight away I got comments asking me about uh, how they compare to other shoes. Now it's always a bit difficult to compare shoes when you're running in them because uh, yeah, you have to remember what it was like to run in the other shoes. So today we're testing it by running in two different shoes at the same time. Now the first shoe I'm going to compare it to is the Ultraboost 21. It's one of my favorite shoes. I love the, the bounciness and the softness in that shoe. Uh, so I figured that'd be a, a good place to start. Um, the Ultraboost 21 comes in at 380 grams in a size 10. The uh, Switch Forward is only 30 grams uh, lighter. So that's not that much, 350 grams. To be honest, while wearing them, I can't really tell the difference in the, in the weight. 30 grams is not that much. So um, yeah, let's see uh, if I can uh, feel a difference while running. When I was recovering from my knee injury, I wanted to run in shoes that had a little bit more bounce to them, a little bit more uh, softness so that I could take the stress off my knee and uh, have more comfort during my run. Uh, a lot of times I turned to the Ultraboost 21 because of that, because they're very soft shoes. Uh, so I can't believe that at the moment, I feel like they are the, the harder shoe, the, the, the tougher shoe, because yeah, they are a very soft shoe. But the, the softness and the squishiness of the uh, Switch Forward um, makes it feel like a softer shoe. You can actually feel uh, the shoe compressing when you step and bouncing back up. Um, so yeah, I think the softness of the, uh, the Switch Forward actually beats the Ultra Boost 21. Uh, when it comes to stability, I think both shoes are very stable but the Ultra Boost 21 feels a little bit more sturdy. It has uh, the torsion plate and more bulkiness in the heel, so that probably uh, results in more uh, a feeling of more st stability in the heel. Um, all in all, uh, yeah, uh, I think it might uh, change my go-to shoe to the, the Switch Forward. Uh, still, Ultra Boost 21, still a great shoe and I, I love running in them but yeah i'm loving the feeling that i get from the the switch forward right now let's try a different shoe now the next shoe is the nike zoom x invincible run fly knit which comes in at 314 grams so out of the three it is the lightest shoe uh when i first got the shoes it was around the same time as the ultra boost 21 and uh, it was very hard comparing the two, but it may have actually uh, seemed like the, the softer, bouncier shoe. Um, I also love running in these. They give me a, a lot of bounce, a, a lot of support, a lot of, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully with my uh, uh, re recovery, it, it helped me out a little bit with taking off stress off my knee. So I've been loving running in these shoes. Let's compare them. To the switch forward. Now wearing the shoes like this, there's no longer any doubt that the Nike Zoom X uh, Invincible Run Fly Knit is a, a softer shoe than the Ultra Boost 21. Uh, it was always kind of hard to compare, yeah, unless you wear them uh, with two different types of shoes. Um, that being said, um, they get really, really close to the Switch Forward. They're just a, a different type of softness. The softness in uh, uh, the Nike is that you feel uh, the shoe com compressing, you feel the, the softness, the support that it gives you. Uh, with uh, the Adidas Switch Forward, you feel that, that compression and that release, that squishiness, if you will. And uh, 
it, it gives you that, that feeling of being propelled forward. Uh, so that, that is the, the biggest difference. The, the softness, I think it's, it's kind of the, the same. They have the same softness, or the soft feeling to it while you run. It's just more of a, a forward movement in the forward. Uh, when it comes to stability, I think the, uh, the Nike, um, it's a, a little bit wider and therefore I feel more stable running in the switch forward. Uh, when I first got the, the Nikes, the, yeah, they, they seem very wide and especially in the heel, so it took some, uh, some getting used to. With the, the switch forward, it's also a big shoe, you're up very high, the, the sole's very high. But still, I, I feel very stable running in it. Uh, so all in all, yeah, I did this, uh, well done on the shoe. I think uh, between these three shoes, if I had to uh, pick one shoe, if I was just buying one pair of shoes, uh, I would actually go for the new Adidas Switch Forward. They're a very comfortable, very stable shoe, and I'm loving that uh, squishy feeling in the shoes that propel system that moves you forward and of course that's exaggerated it, it's not like you're shooting forward uh, but there is that feeling of uh, when you're squishing in uh, that sole it, it compresses and it, it moves you forward and I like that feeling so out of all these shoes I think uh, yeah Adidas well done I'm loving my new shoes so um, uh, I've worn them on a couple of long runs now. Uh, if I've done a little bit more running in them, I'll, uh, I'll do a, a review and tell you what I think about them in the long run. Uh, until then, get out there and run.